Hello, hello. Got Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the title of this video is Why Do Women Want Monogamy But Don't Want to Do the Duties of Monogamy? And this uh, topic is from, well, inspired by the uh, video from Kadeen and Laval uh, podcast. And I am going to do my best to put a link to that video in the description below. Um, but essentially, their podcasts, or at least this topic of their podcast was about why do women want monogamy, but when it comes to um, the sexual desire of the man, they're not uh, able or they don't desire to fulfill their monogamous relationship and that man sexually. And that's a quality question. You know, and some would say that he, and I would say, he did not vet that woman very properly. He did not, as the man, take the lead and see how she would be in a long-term relationship. I believe they were talking about they, they were in a relationship for, you know, some years, obviously, before they got married. Um, but he apparently was more following her lead. He did not lead the relationship. He did not ask for sex whenever he wanted it from her. You know, she was probably in charge of the sex. And obviously, uh, when it came to um, keeping him around and keeping him interested, she gave him a lot of sex. And therefore, he was happy. But it was because she gave it to him. You know, um, it mentions in the uh, podcast that she talked about... Um, I guess where the relationship was going and the progress of the relationship because of society and um, how marriage and monogamy is so pushed that she wanted to uh, progress the relationship and because she wanted to, he did. And essentially she said, if the relationship doesn't progress how she wanted it, she would leave. They had a little little spat about that. And her defense was, I didn't put a gun to your head and you didn't have to do it, but you chose to. And then his rebuttal to that was, well, you essentially said, if I didn't marry you, it would be the end of the relationship. But again, as a man, you're supposed to take the lead. Because if you're not looking to get married, who is she to force you? <laughs> I get it. You are in a relationship. You're in a long-term relationship. You want to be with this woman. But if you are not ready to progress the relationship, then you should not progress the relationship. And sure, she may have, may, she may have left him. But that's the price to pay for happiness. There will be other women out there who will follow your lead and who will be on the same page with you, even though they will be wanted to get in a relationship. But until you are ready, you do not progress in a relationship or in, into a marriage. Because now... As he is, hey, it seems like they're in a pretty good relationship, you know, for the most part. But now he's complaining about not getting sex as often. You know, and even though there's ways around that now. So, hey, if you don't want to give me sex as often as I'd like, I could always get sex from someone else. I'm letting you know. So now you're open and you can say, hey, well, she can say, oh, well, I mean, so I mean, I could get sex from other guys, too. I mean, well, you have me here. I want more sex. You are not feeling that obligation as my wife. 
at least I'm not cheating on you. I'm letting you know that, you know, I, I'm going to be going out and getting more if you don't want to fulfill that duty as the wife. And even uh, Kadeem, that's the wife, uh, said if she would have known what it would have taken to um, fulfill her husband sexually back when she got married. They've been married for 10 years. Back when they got married, before they got married, she might not have gotten married. <laughs> you know, she would have known all that would have, it, it, it would have entailed, you know, to keep her husband, Laval, satisfied. And that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. You know, they're still together now, but that's, that's pretty deep. Pretty much saying, if she would have known the work was, that was required, she wouldn't have gotten married. Meaning she got married for a purpose. But not out of love, but for a purpose. You know, this is not something she was passionate about. Again, she mentioned that she did it because of the natural progression of the relationship. You know, and that's uh, pretty interesting. But I do want to talk about why women do get um, in monogamous relationships and why they um, want monogamous relationships without necessarily um, doing the duties of monogamy. Obviously, they want stability. Stability is pretty easy. You want somebody who will be there forever or for a long time, you know, and will be able to... Um, uh, be there for them through thick or thin. You know, who will be happy wife, happy life kind of guys. You know, so that's pretty easy. I get it. You know, obviously, they want to have that kind of control without wanting the control. I know it's kind of funny, but women want to lead the relationship into a specific direction. But it's subconsciously, they really don't want you to listen to them. I made a video about that last week. They don't want you to listen to them, but it sounds good as society is not, uh, you know, today in feminism, they want to act like they're the leaders of the relationship. So they want that control, but when they get it, they're miserable. The irony, you know, and then, um, uh, of course they want you to treat them like they're special. Women want to be treated special, but again, it's kind of like um, wanting the control without actually wanting the control. Because when you treat them special and you do what they want, they always push the goalpost further and further. And as they push that goalpost further and further, they lose respect for you. And eventually, the relationship will end because you guys are both miserable. And as we know, usually it's women who end the relationship. You know, but they do it because they are miserable because you are pretty much catering to them and doing whatever they want. And then they lose respect for you. You know, so again, women don't really want you to listen to them. They'll talk about it, but they want you to be a man enough. Take the lead and do what you want in the end. Because that way they know they can't have their way with you. And then they gain respect for you because they understand you're choosing to have them around. As opposed to trying to force them to stay around. You know. But of course, like I mentioned in the video. Women want to know, especially if you've been in a relationship for a long time and your boyfriend, girlfriend, that your relationship is progressing by societal standards. And again, I mentioned this earlier. If you are not wanting to progress the relationship, do not progress the relationship. Regardless of what a woman says or what she does, if she is not happy with the status of your relationship, but you are, she has the right to lead. 
she has the right to leave. But you have to be steadfast in your decision. If you do not want to progress the relationship, don't progress the relationship. Again, there will be other women who will go at your pace. And when you are ready to get married, you get married or progress the relationship. It's up to you. Because if you're miserable, she will be miserable. You always got to keep that in mind. You are the leader of the relationship. As, a, as you go, the relationship goes. You always got to keep that in mind. And always keep that in mind that you want women who follow that. None of this happy wife, happy life stuff. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's not true. It's not true. Yeah, none of that is true. You know what I mean? So you just have to um, be know what you want and follow that direction. You know what I mean? But again, I'm going to put the link of the uh, video, Kadeen and Laval's podcast of that video about uh, women um, wanting monogamy but not wanting to do the duties of monogamy in the um, description below. Um, but, you know, let me know what you thought about this video, whether you agree with me or you disagree. Uh, please, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Um, and also let me know what other uh, topics of videos you'd like to discuss or you'd like me to discuss. And of course, if you found value in this video, donate. I appreciate all donations. Uh, but until next week, hope you guys have a uh, great day and great week. Stay safe. I'll see you then.